dear Capricorn, this is the love reading for you where the person most on your mind will have their true thoughts and feelings revealed by me, Queen of Cups Tarot. We will also look into what they would tell you if they had the guts to tell you the truth with my own deck, the Brutally Honest Oracle Cards. As an extended member to my channel, you can get these readings ahead of time and with no ads. And I'm also doing spiritual growth readings for all the members to my channel every week and personal readings for the full members. Subscribe and then check this out to the join button or follow the link in the description box to learn more. This reading will be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising Sign and Venus, Vedic or Tropical, tropical for Capricorn. This will be a reading about what the person most on your mind are feeling for you and where their thoughts are at when it comes to you. It can often be a conflict between head and heart and this will be revealed here together with the most likely action they will take when it comes to you and your relationship. For a cross watcher, this reading will most likely be about where the Capricorn person's thoughts and feelings are at. The reading can go both ways. The drama is the same, but it can be different castings to the different roles by the universe. And I usually read for the empath side of the story. Also remember that the other person holds your shadow that you mirror out to the world so you can be able to see it. In the end, you need to use your own intuition and recognition to determine who is who in this general reading for you. And I will use the Light Seer's Tarot for the readings part. When I open your deck here, I see the Sun card together with the Wheel of Fortune. So 19, the Sun, 1 plus 9, 10, these two cards are connected. Uh, so it shows a, uh, like a <laughs> boombastic of energy. Uh, I think this person uh, loves you deeply and wants to um, continue your relationship or recycle uh, your relationship, reinstigate it. They are sure. Okay, so... I call the divine with love and light. And here we have a ten of wands, which also connected to the sun and the wheel. Uh, with the ten of wands, it's a little bit less upbeat. It shows a person running away, maybe from this feeling or the feeling of your relationship being destined. Might also be that the person is holding back um, either out of consideration for you, they don't want to make your life worse, or uh, they think that you would reject them. So they're trying to keep their feelings hidden or this enthusiasm hidden. Uh, it's almost like putting a, a lid on a volcano. So I call the four archangels in the four corners of the world. Here we have the three of pentacles and the sun. This person might come off as they want to be friends with you or work together with you or do something ordinary with you uh, when really they love you to bits and pieces. But they might come and say, oh, we could just have a coffee or uh, maybe we could start this project together. <laughs> Not mentioning that they really love you. Uh, a great deal or super interested in you so six elements three of cups uh, the sun card so three of pentacles three of cups this person definitely wants a relationship with you okay uh, so uh, six elements earth wind fire water spirit and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading for my dear Capricorn viewers. So I want my dear Capricorn to have love in their life and to find themselves in loving relationships. I also want you to have creative success and to be able to walk on your highest path towards your highest destiny. Okay. So I will just tune in for a few seconds to you, the person most on your mind and their true thoughts and feelings for you. So this is the most likely action they will take when it comes to you and your relationship. This is their feelings for you and this is what's on their mind. We have a nine of pentacles here, ace of swords, page of wands. It almost feels like a singles energy. Uh, maybe you are singles and this person is interested in you. Uh, they have lived a life as a single and it has been... Uh, like amazing and fun in, in many ways, but maybe they want to grow further than this. Maybe they have reached as far as they can come uh, on the journey that they're at right now. And this is um, their feelings. Four of cups, 
Poor thing. Okay, Eight of Wands, the Tower, Ace of Pentacles. Um, they might have come out of a difficult uh, relationship, a hard relationship. Uh, falling in love with you, like from uh, flash from nowhere, like from the clear sky. <laughs> And um, now it's all like <laughs> they are very um, touchy feely and you know in love and sad and feeling blue and uh, being worried like typical when you are in love with someone and you haven't been able to express your feelings so uh, it's very sweet uh, the person had like a, they probably liked you from the get-go but I think it's a new relationship and then um, like love hits like this lightning strike here and it made the person blue they maybe didn't um, they didn't count on falling in love with you or maybe it was uh, like not a good idea to fall in love with you or maybe they think you're out of their league or um, there's something in the way for your relationship to be uh, manifested so something is making this person um, have a little bit of lack of hope but I'm definitely feeling mostly that the way you feel when you are in love with someone and you don't know if they love you back so that's what I'm feeling there okay and this is their most likely action and we have the hangman and the magician which is also very typical in these situations might be a work related relationship where you're supposed to not feel this way for the people that you are involved with these two cards jumped also when i shuffled um so mm, um there's some compl complication to your relationship they would have wanted to woo you but there was reason to why not doing this and why to hold back and restrict yourself and not get involved maybe because of work and here the hangman so it's like upping the energy um, the person gets more and more frustrated and they're still holding back uh, so then it becomes the hangman it's really tormenting situation almost like torture and then the magician so it seems uh, like they don't want to be tortured anymore and they want to get like a manifestation of your situation so either you are already married or it's a unethical work relationship or whatever okay seven of swords uh, with the ace of wands so this is like uh, someone in a stealth mode <laughs> um i think this person have watched you uh, from afar and uh, they haven't been honest with uh, how they really see you or what kind of approach they really want to make towards you so even if this person is in love with you they might have act cold uh, or even unpleasant or uh, like hostile towards you it doesn't have to be like that it can just be like they have kept you on an arm's length distant and almost um, like not trusting you or not trusting you to be close and uh, it's their own burning passion here <laughs> that makes this complication Mm. Uh, so if you notice that a work colleague of late has uh, started to reject you or um, like not wanting to talk to you anymore you had a nice thing going like you were really getting friends and now the person doesn't come with the coffee anymore and becomes really acting really awkward and this is it <laughs> okay and here we have the high priestess so i definitely feel like they think you are out of their league death never can happen this thing it's uh, totally impossible. You are like an icon on a rock or a throne and they can only, you know, almost worship you. So death, it says, it, this is impossible. They, their mind wants to shut it down. Uh, but their heart here, page of cups, it's some piece of them can't, uh, uh, can't manage to shut, shut it down. They, they constantly daydream about you and uh, um, they can't help themselves. So, but since this is the person most on your mind, maybe it's uh, reciprocated. Maybe it's not only in their fantasy and imagination here. So we'll see. This is on their emotional level. We have an eight of cups, king of swords. Um, they even don't want to even try to invest themselves. They're trying to really sit on top of this because they have seen an inner vision that this will fail. So uh, they're trying to walk away from this uh, temptation here and be the master of their own heart with the king of swords in that position seven of wands even more <laughs> boundaries here ten of pentacles 
so again, it might be a work related relationship and, you know, you want to keep your income and your money. It's important. You can't risk it just because you think that you have fallen in love with someone. Uh, but um, death together with the Ten of Pentacles kind of says to me that this person will have to cave and realize that they want a life with you. It's not just a fling. It's something serious. Uh, but uh, we have a page of cups and the queen of cups. Uh, so again, it might be in some way an imbalanced relationship, maybe a big age gap or a big gap when it comes to maybe you are their boss and they are your employee. Or it might be that you have different come from different social backgrounds, uh, different level of income and money. Um, it might even be that there's a distance between you when it comes to location. But um, death is forcing this person to, to realize that this is serious and that you really live in their heart here. Um, <laughs> poor little, little thing. Hmm. Okay, so um, moving on here to their most likely action. Ten of Cups. <laughs> so it, this is so cute because this is how most people react. They fall in love with someone and they feel like they have been ambushed by their heart and that they need to you know, stop this from happening because what if the other person doesn't want you? Maybe it's uh, like inconvenient. Maybe it's not possible. Uh, the other person is um, married or your boss or the age gap and so on and so on and so forth. So we try to be very um, sneaky with this and not tell anyone that we have fallen in love with this person because um, we don't want to look stupid. But then Ten of Cups, <laughs> it says... Uh, the love is already there. What what can you do? Nothing. And uh, typical, the Ten of Cups is also a card where the love is uh, is answered from both sides. So that kind of says a lot. Uh, Six of Pentacles, the hero font. Uh, so it seems like this person is going to try to be uh, really nice towards you uh, moving forward. So even if they uh, have acted shady uh, a little while and you might have have asked yourself what's the matter with this person they have really changed before they were so nice and now they are like acting like I've done them something but this will change again back towards them becoming friendly uh, because they kind of give in to the fact that ah this is what it is I can't uh, I try to you know run away from it or suffocate it when it was just an infant <laughs> but now it's uh, like a full-blown baby here I can't really get rid of it but here we have a get rid of it card ten of wands and the knight of swords uh, so this person might um, have a flash back again uh, let's say that they fell in love with you they started to uh, you know come with coffee or invite you to talks along the water spring or whatever <laughs> maybe you were seeing each other out you know, about on the town and and this person came forward and talked to you. But suddenly they started to act like you were their worst enemy or someone that they really didn't want to speak to or uh, they didn't come with coffee anymore. They acted strange. And now they are going to open up to you again. And, and they really believe this time that they have gotten a lot of hope and think because of this. They have gotten a lot of hope and think that um, something could be made out of this. But then it seems like they have this runaway reaction again. I'm getting totally exhausted. So um, the person wants you, uh, don't want to want you, but wants you, but don't want to want you. So uh, very complicated. Uh, uh, I don't like a relationship that starts this way uh, because you are going to feel, um, you're going to feel like on a roller coaster that one day they like you, next day they don't like you. Uh, and it's an inconvenience to have fallen in love with you or to uh, be with you. Um, maybe this person is married and don't want to break uh, um, old uh, like promises and uh, they want to be loyal. So then they might see you as the enemy here and try to run away from you. It seems very hysterical almost this combination here. Okay, so we'll see what they will want to tell you if they dare to tell you the truth. So, uh, I feel you even when we're miles apart. So, they can't help but, you know, daydreaming about you a lot. And uh, love is too dangerous. 
Uh, it might be the only reason. Maybe this person is uh, free and single in the right uh, age, the right uh, everything, but they're just scared of a love. We saw that they have had some problems with the relationship before. Um, I don't know where it was. We saw the three of, maybe it was on the heart region. Yes, here we had some problems. The person had really done their best, put their best foot forward in a relationship, but it still went to age here. So um, now they don't want to fall in love maybe again because I tried. I'm sorry. I played you uh, in their dreams. Um, <laughs> if they played you, they played themselves because we have both death and ten of pentacles here. So uh, they might want to... Um, tell themselves that they are playing you but I I promise you they will hurt as much as you if they deny you uh, that's a promise okay I didn't believe you when you said you love me my surrounding didn't approve so again they might be married or you might be married and uh, they don't trust this connection I'm scared of you <laughs> I'm ready for commitment. I think one side to them is very ready for commitment and another side to them is uh, like super scared and wants to run for the hills and act like they played you and it was all their game from the beginning. It's not. Um, this person is a, a tad bit hysterical and um, might not like emotions overall. Uh, Eight of Cups, King of Swords. They are putting like a very dominant king here over their heart saying that my heart isn't allowed to feel the way it feels. Um, and also a guard, the seven of wands here, wanting to be a person of high moral also. But then ten of pentacles, queen of cups, it says, no, my soul knows that we are meant to be together and I'm ready for commitment. Uh, and then we, they start to work on this here. And then suddenly I tried, I'm sorry, I played you. I get scared, I'm running away. Uh, so now you... Uh, uh, <laughs> what do you say? Oh, I have said this to you now, so now you are pre-warned. Uh, and I will look at you. what you want to say. We belong together, I can't forgive. So if this person, is what I'm saying, that you will become very disappointed if this person does like this. They will be equally disappointed on themselves and hurting, but it's them doing the shitty thing. So you will have a hard time forgiving them for that. And... I used you as supply. I projected family issues in our relationship. Uh, this, I think, is um, your uh, uh, diagnosis <laughs> Diag diagnosis on this relationship or this person. Uh, you will think that they are a narcissist and that they have family issues that makes them act in a very strange way. And I think you are right. I don't think they are narcissists, though, but um, they are a person that puts... Uh, this kind of restraint on their heart uh, of course they are going to act like you need to be in balance with your mind and your heart in other case you're going to act um, erratical and strange <laughs> so and this is what this person is doing so what does the divine say should you just kick this person down the curb or what codependency don't become codependent uh, to this situation it's going to be like being stuck in hell um, this person is sweet enough if they didn't have this uh, they have like an idea how they are supposed to act and feel and since that's not the truth uh, they will act very shady and very strange and it comes from uh, I think family issues exactly as you said and uh, it comes from karma and it comes from them having some kind of like it's an addictive behavior uh, for example, to be ruling your emotion and stay cold can be an addiction that uh, we are addicted to this. We can't let our emotions come out because that would be the worst thing ever. That's really, 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 really dangerous. Um, so the divine says there's a lot of issues with this relationship. So really, I would say stay away, but we'll see. I will take some advice cards for you. <clears throat> Regeneration and peace. Um, what I'm feeling here with these cards is that um, you are growing much stronger than you have ever been before. So whatever is happening to you, you will thrive from that situation. 
and um, try to sit inside your inner peace. Try to love yourself, uh, not take stupid shit personally and um, see that, okay, this person has issues. It's not my problem. If they would have been uh, healed, we could have had a lovely relationship. But since they are not, I accept. I accept that this person uh, isn't in a place where we can make each other happy. And um, I think this is the best way to solve uh, an ancient karma uh, between you two. And um, I wouldn't really invest myself in this uh, uh, relationship if I were you. Uh, if you do anyway, you, you need to know that I have warned you that this person is going to like be hot and cold off and on. Uh, love you one day, not love you the next day. And it's going to be a um, hell of a roller coaster that um, it's not going to be good for your healing. But if you can just keep uh, yourself very calm, um, very open, very truthful, for example, say, I um, would love to engage in a relationship with you, but you seem nowhere ready to be in a serious relationship. Uh, so I say, no, thank you. That could be the most gracious way for you to handle this um, relationship, okay? So, my dear Capricorn, I hope this helps. I want to thank you so much for watching and urge you to watch the reading. What do they want to happen between you two to get more information about this situation or another relationship that you have uh, had thoughts about? Well, you can also watch the love readings for July that will show both sides' opinions. And you can also watch the true thoughts and feelings from previous month to get a deeper and prolonged understanding of your situation. So until next time, stay blessed and bye-bye.